The worst mass shooting in U.S. history happened last night. Tonight, outside Vegas City Hall, residents and politicians lit candles and held signs reading, Vegas Strong. We will not be tarnished by this one sick, horrible human being that he thought he could destroy who and what we are. That will never happen. All right, so this is a vlog that I've kind of been debating on whether or not I was even going to make, given uh, the events that's happened two days ago. I'm sure by this point you all know what's happened with 59 people dead, 527 wounded, uh, the shooting that took place down at the Strip at the Route 91 festival. Um, me personally, I've never really talked about on the vlog what it is I do for a living, um, but I was part of the response that went down to the Strip after those events. Um, I was at home at the time and I was called in and I arrived down there about 45 minutes after the shooting started. Um, my first experience when I got down there was of a man in his 30s dressed in western attire, cowboy boots, jeans, western shirt. He came up to me with a American flag bandana that was soaked in blood. And, handed it to me saying he didn't know what to do with it and I told him I would take care of it. I took it and disposed of it. And that was my very first experience down there. Myself with all my fellow responders were there the entire night. I didn't leave till about five in the morning and we did everything and they did everything we could to help that night. Um, I hesitate and hesitated to make this vlog simply for the fact that this has always been kind of a hobby and an outlet for me because of what I do. Um, something that I've tried to do as enjoyment and this is something that crosses that line into un unenjoyable and something that's not um, not fun. But given where we are and the circumstances, I felt it's something that should be made. The camaraderie um that has gone on since the first, since that night, um, has been pretty overwhelming. Um, we always joke, you know, Vegas is fast paced and everybody's in it for themselves and uh, that wasn't the case that night at all. And we're now, um, so many people are coming together and it sounds so cliche, but it, 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 it everybody's coming together. I mean, there's so many local businesses, restaurants, um, private donors um, donating donating everything that they can, um, money, food. Um, I think the convention center said that they are actually overwhelmed with food and the donations uh, down on the strip. I was down on the strip today, um, just checking it out. Um, it's very surreal, uh, it's very sombering. Um, and you just, you don't fathom, you can't fathom why someone would do this. Um, that's a question everybody's asking why, but I don't think we're ever gonna actually get the answer for that. It's just very surreal, um, but there's a new almost mantra going around that Vegas strong and it's been proven pretty true. Um, but it's just very sad. I'd like to just say, you know, from being on the ground as a responder, the everything was just amazing to see how everybody gave their full 100 110 percent down there everybody the private ambulance the fire department metro even, even the civilians the yeah. civilians the citizens that were there when it started and started rendering yeah, the festival aid goers. right away mm -hmm. everybody was just unbelievable even while we were there after the event citizens still came up and tried to offer their help as best they could it was just amazing to see. Um, these are things that every responder, doctors, nurses, Anybody. everybody trains for but can never be fully prepared for till it happens. And when it does, you just hope to do the best that you can and I feel like everybody did and gave everything they had. For locals, um, 
we kind of have a little bit firsthand accounts. Um, I was hearing all these stories down in the Mandalay Bay. There's a ton of reporters. Uh, media presence is just huge. The police presence obviously is still huge. Um, FBI is huge. There was FBI agents still. Obviously, they're still going to be here. Um, there's not. I call them gawkers. There's not a lot of them. Um, it's more so people just kind of tr trying to come to grips with it um, and just standing and staring. And it almost feels like how we watched, and it's not putting it in the same caliber at all, but um, of 9-11 and just watching the people who were around it. And it's this that blank stare on your face. Um, you can kind of just read right into it. Of they're just trying to figure it out, trying to run through all their emotions. Um, it hurts. Like, it's very... Yesterday was very somber, sad day. Today is still the same, um, and it's it's almost like you know it, it, it's it's just something that you watch on TV. You never actually feel like it's going to happen in where you live, or and that's where I think that we just become too uh, complacent um, in thinking that it'll never happen. And it, it's really strange or changed the the feeling for the strip for oh. me. Having been there, I don't feel like it's ever going to have the same feeling. Uh, Megan chose to go down there today to see the memorials and the visuals and everything, which is more than appropriate. I agree, but for me, I just don't feel that I'm ready for that yet. Um, it might be a while before I feel I'm ready to to go back down there. Well, I think too, um, he sees it very differently now. Um, I don't. I don't think I'll ever see it the same way after seeing it like that too. It will. I don't think you can. always have a different view for me, which sucks um, in a way, but it is what it is, and it's something I'm still dealing with, and we'll have to still deal with. For I mean, for the rest of well, it's for the as, rest of your life. Will, I mean, and it's not just about me, as will any of the responders and all the people that were there and were affected by that. I don't want this to sound like this no, is about no, me, no. But this, this is, is just, just firsthand accounts. This of, is just our experience. And, yeah. So I'd like to end this video by dedicating it to the 59 victims and their families who were, have been forever changed by this tragedy. Even the 527 wounded. Um, this is to really everybody. Um, our hearts really go out to every one of you. Um, the families of the deceased, nothing we can say. Um, I'd also like to dedicate this video to Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Officer Charleston Hartfield who was off duty at the time but was killed by the shooter in the first volley. Him, Metro Police, Fire, EMS, hospitals, everybody went above and beyond the call of duty. The civilians that were, um, the survivors that were helping people. I definitely encourage you to find a reputable charity mm -hmm. and give um, a link below one that Casey Neistat started a GoFundMe page for. Um, he's going to give 100% of the proceeds to that uh, to donate um, all the donations and food and care to all the responders have been more than appreciated and grateful overwhelming for, overwhelming for everybody that's given so far um, everybody that's given blood at the blood banks has keep been giving over, blood it's been overwhelming keep giving They've blood that saves lives so many people lined up around the corner so right. everybody's just done an amazing job and come, come together so well so we're gonna try to we're going to try to put this as behind us and remember as best we can and try to go on with our lives, but with remembering everybody and remembering everything that happened, it will always be with us. So. And be, and, you know, just be exactly what it says, just Vegas strong. And be Vegas strong. Yeah. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you.